In this video, I'll be showing how you can create HDRI backdrops from any location in the world using Google Street View. For instance, this street in Florida where they filmed Edward Scissorhands. All you need to download for this is free software called Street View Download 360. To start, go to Google Maps and type in any address. For this, I'm going to search for the street where they filmed Edward Scissorhands. Drag the street view icon onto anywhere where there's a blue line and adjust based on which part of the street view you want as your backdrop. Copy the URL. Next, open Street View Download 360. Go to Tools and paste the URL. You'll be given a panorama ID. Paste that into the panorama download section. Pick a location to save it and choose your resolution. You can get them very large, but I find that the 3328 is the maximum I would need. That's basically 8K. 1664 is more or less 4K and would also work well. Download it and you now have the panorama as a JPEG. Next, go to Convertio and convert the JPEG to HDR. This HDR is now ready to place into Unreal, so put it in a folder where you'd like to keep it and drag it into an Unreal folder. I have one I've already made labeled HDRI. In Unreal, drag the HDRI backdrop into your level. This is the basic one that comes with Unreal. Make sure the HDRI backdrop is selected and drag your newly made one onto the cube map. As you can see, it looks really bad. There are a couple more steps we need to do. First, open up the cube map and change the maximum texture size. As you can see, this one can go as high as 4096, which is close to 8K. But for now, I'm just going to do 2048, which is close to 4K. Next, go down to the level of detail section and change MIP Gen to No MIP Maps. Now it's looking nice and clear, but is a bit distorted. Select the projection center and move it up or down to get to a point that looks good. You'll generally want to keep your camera as close as possible to the area around the projection center and how you adjust it will vary depending on angles and such. You'll find that some parts of the scene look distorted, but you can hide these by adding objects to the scene like cars, trees, and other 3D assets.
You can also use Photoshop to remove parts of the backdrop. Open up the HDR in Photoshop. Select around the part you want to remove. Shift F5 and Content Aware. There'll still usually be some bits left over, but you can use Clone Stamp to clean those up. In this example, I'll also need to remove the shadow since the mailbox has been removed. Unless I add a 3D model of a mailbox in Unreal to take its place. If you save this new version of the HDR with the same file name, all you have to do is go to the cube map and press re-import. To make the most of the HDRI, you'll want to have ray tracing enabled for translucency, and you'll need to change max refractions to one and uncheck the second refraction box. Now you get this nice realistic reflection of the HDRI backdrop in the windshields. Move the objects around and resize depending on their position in the scene. You'll notice that the shadows fade as we move the camera out, so for a scene like this you might want to add a plane and create a new surface using materials. There are many good ones on Quixel Bridge. It's a bit too dark for the rest of the scene, so brighten the texture up so they match. This does mean losing the HDRI road and shadows, so it's down to personal preference. You can also create your own basic materials using parts of the backdrop. Adding a tree can help create more depth and replace the backdrop shadows, which are now hidden by the plane. One important aspect of HDRI backdrops is checking the shadows to figure out your directional light. In this case, we can see where the sun's coming from and how high from the length and angle of the shadows. So we can adjust the directional light to match. The shadow source angle can also be adjusted to make the shadow softer or harder. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.